right, next up, everything I learned. No, everything I know, I learned from the movies. Ryan. Ignite. I know I look youthful, but I'm 40 years old. And what I came to learn as I was aging is that everything I know I learned from the movies. And it all started with the movies Goonies. And this was the first time my parents let me out of the house. And it was also the first time I realized that every group of friends has their fat, fucked up friend that we all tease about, right? This is also the time where I went to the teen movies. And the thing I learned at the teen movies is, is the cough and cover with the girl. I also learned how to successfully poke a hole in the bottom of my popcorn. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Girls, if you don't ask them. Then it was college. And at college, I learned that it is a good idea to drink beer as much as possible. What you don't know is that ultimately your GPA suffers from that. And what happens is, if you didn't know, if you die while in college, your friends get an A. So I think my friends were encouraging me that to, to drink much. Then I just had to decide the type of man I was going to be. First, I was going to be that fucked up kick-ass guy that Brad Pitt was. But I realized that wasn't going to get me very far. So I had to make a decision. And as I went into business, I realized that I had to make money. So I started looking at my heroes. Money, greed, power, that's what I needed. And then I said, you know what? In order to make money, I've also got to support my inner geek. And in doing so, I realized hiding in the basement playing video games isn't such a bad thing. And if I give you one thing to walk away from today, you have more than two options for this election. Vote for Pedro if you don't like the other two. All right? And then, Ignite, I'm going to publicly announce that now I have to learn to be a parent because in January, I'm going to welcome in my first child. But I'm a heterosexual guy, folks. And I had to learn the type of women I liked. And first, back in the 80s, I started with the slutty vixen types. If you remember, if you're old enough, those were the girls with the big hair and the uh, push-up bras and the leather and lace that usually were wearing a Metallica shirt. Then I moved to the girl next door. And what I realized is the girl next door can sometimes be a bore, and it might take a little longer than you expect to get past first base, if you know what I'm saying. And then I went on to say, maybe I need more of the model type. Maybe I need more of the girl, oh, it's that way, sorry. I'm on this slide. Oh, the girl next door. So now we're talking about the girl next door. So the girl next door bore, you got that part. Next slide. Then I went for the model type, and what I realized was the model types spend way too much time in front of the mirror, and I just couldn't have the patience to deal with them. So I started looking around, and I realized the thing that was important to me was I needed a little bit of a combination of a both. And at age of 35, I met my nurse, my healthcare professional, my, my hero, who's up there in the balcony carrying my five-month-old, soon-to-be son, Alexander James. Love you, Lori. Now, the one thing I want to tell you folks that I learned from the movies is that relationship movies and romances are fucked up. They're only going to teach you bad things. It's like Cosmo. It teaches you the wrong thing. Steer clear of those movies. Oop. I'm getting this backwards here. Sorry, guys. Relationships. There it is. First time up here. So the relationship movies like Cosmo, it'll only make you feel ugly. They're never as good as you think they're going to be. And then you move on to movies about sex, right? Sex. Ah, uh, sex. And the thing that the movies teach you is that all men want is sex, and women that like sex are sluts. And that's an unfortunate coincidence. So from, from sex, we move into marriage. And at 37, I got married. But if you notice the last two slides, if you were my mom, my mom would tell you I got those two slides backwards, that it's supposed to start with marriage and then sex. Hey, guys, I'm only human, you know? Then we have the good and evil. And it's sometimes hard to differentiate. In the movies, they make them black and white. But I'm here to tell you, folks, if, if you find a person who acts too good, too religious, too spiritual, they're probably the bad guy. Steer clear of those folks. Then you have to learn the meaning of life. And the interesting thing is, I'm not going to evangelize up here and tell you about religion. What I'm going to tell you is that I uh, rebelled against religion for 20 years. And then I went to a church recently that had movies that brought me back to the faith. Now, I'm not sure about the afterlife, 
But there's a couple things I can guarantee for sure. In heaven, God looks like John Denver and talks like Morgan Freeman. In hell, he looks like Al Pacino and is having a relationship with Saddam Hussein. Folks, I just gave you 40 years of success in my life from the movies in 18 slides. If I can give you two things to walk away with, carry a bat at work if you need to, and vote for Pedro. Thank you.